Welcome to Crimson Guitars. Welcome to the MF Kit Build, taking a great kit guitar and making it awesome. Hopefully. I will settle for splendid. Uh, if you have not watched the earlier videos, please go back and watch them and uh, check out the process, see what we're doing. Um, hopefully we will elucidate and entertain. Um, and you run the, the risk, you run the risk of winning this guitar. Um, if you are currently watching this in the month of July 2018, then you can win the guitar for your very own by placing an order through our website, crimsonguitars.com. We have a massive summer sale on right now. So please check that out and uh, run the risk. Why, r risk? You, you risk being awesomeified. That's a word, because I said so. Um, I'm gonna go build the guitar now because it, it's a bit easier than doing the whole intro talky talky thing. Just just give me a chisel and, and, and some stuff. Hold on. It's a couch. I don't know what I'm going to use a gouge for, but no, just... Begin! <laughs> Good gouge, I like this gouge. And I'm back. It is a super hot day and I'm, I'm tethered. I'm tethered now. Our wireless uh, uh, lapel mics, for some reason, have decided to die. I suspect it's a conspiracy. Or the heat. Or, I don't know, I just use it a hell of a lot. So, um, okay, this is here. We have... No, wait, that's my... <laughs> I was about to say we've got no vibrations and then I did this and I hear vibrations. What it is is I'm currently wearing an automatic watch which uh, self winds every time you move it. So, uh, hey, no vibrations. The steel is all down and sorted out and uh, flush with the jointing area. Okay, now, what I was planning on doing was essentially gluing a piece of wood in between these two parts, thus making a uh, a gap of a certain size into, and uh, I would leave three mils, say, along the top and around the back and sides to then fill with a compressed mass of aluminium and uh, glow in the dark powder, say. Uh, that, however, is more work than is required. All I really need to do, all I really need to do is cut a chamfer all the way around. Did you know the chamfer is spelled with an F, not a PH? I was sure it was PH. Um, anyway, chamfer all the way around on both sides. I will then be gluing uh, just these two pieces together, and then I will fill the chamfer, or possibly use the chamfer as a guide and route uh, with the Dremel, but I think I'll probably just fill the chamfer with my uh, uh, compressed mass of aluminium and stuff and that will work perfectly fine. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> I will, before I glue, also have to uh, um, put another mess of aluminium here because uh, you can see that bit. Now, I require, I require a block plane. Tiny block plane, yay! Uh, actually, this might actually do, so uh, well, I need to draw. And that's, that's an interesting area there. This feels like it should be a toy. But it really isn't. Uh, it's not perfect for everything I'm doing here. This is the first time in forever that I actually need a bullnose plane or a chisel plane, and I, I don't have one. That's crazy. Okay, um, spoke shaves. Spoke shaves are good. Let's have a. But again, not quite. I'm going to have to chisel this.
I actually quite like the chamfer on its own. I don't think it needs to be filled with anything. I think that actually rather suits the guitar. Okay, the moment of truth. Probably only need two, but let's see. So always do a dry run, 100%. It's like, um, uh, important. I, can you tell I was gonna go off and say something incredibly inappropriate at that point? But, uh, but I decided not to. There we go. Right. I need, okay, this is one of our, uh, Kit instruments that we create, which is uh, which is obvious, and uh, as such, we have blocks of wood wood from which this was cut on the CNC. I'm going to go and see if I can find any of them to use as a clamping core, uh, because while this actually has clamped it down quite nicely, actually. Um, I want to see if I can spread the uh, sp spread the pressure a little bit more evenly. So, uh, so I'm going to go run away and do that now. I am now. All right. So uh, there's a half inch left over. So I'm going to have to chop this up a little bit. So I want one there. Oh. Let's see what happens if I just have this section. And then I can possibly even get three sash clamps on. That's a little bit delicate. Yeah, to the bandsaw. I still need to clean up the, uh, the joint a little bit, but, uh, but we'll get there. And we'll get there in a minute. Ah. Do you know what? I would have been better off just cutting a custom template. Okay. I'm gonna use the other half at the back so when it's under pressure, it's not gonna dent the other side. Uh, although we are pre-final sanding, so really um, it's not too much of an issue. It's just not absolutely ideal. Uh, okay, so I've got some extra, extra bits and pieces on here that just need to be sorted out. 
mainly foil and glue. Tiny scraper. I'm not after an absolutely perfect joint here. Um, I want, I do want a joint that's going to hold together, obviously. <clears throat> but uh, the the fact that there's going to be almost certainly a visible glue line at the bottom of the chamfer doesn't doesn't matter in the slightest. Uh, we're talking about something that's supposed to look like a robot or an aeroplane or um, a sentient guitar-shaped guitar being of some sort. And uh, joints are to be expected, I think. I am still have this massive internal debate going on whether I should um, um, try and go for a full relic type effect on this or not. <laughs> Probably not, we'll see. Okay, so. I most definitely should have trimmed the steel mesh before bolting it all in. I didn't want to run the risk of making it too small, to be honest. So that's been chopped off a little bit, so we've got clamping up space. And uh, this is actually pretty good. Okay, only two clamps required. The eagle-eyed among you will also realize that I haven't uh, coated the inside face of this piece with aluminium. Um, on second thoughts, I've decided not to. It just, it actually looks pretty cool without. So, uh, so there we go. It's actually apply some glue now. I don't want too much in here. I'm going to have to clean some out of the chamfers, but I won't be able to clean any from the inside of the guitar. And uh, it's not likely to be intensely visible, but uh, still. It's also incredibly warm here at the moment, so uh, this is going off rather rapidly. Did you, uh, if you were watching my face there, I got a little bit stressed. I think we're okay. Alrighty, scraper time. Scrapers are some of the most intensely useful tools you can possibly have.
the moment of truth. This has been curing for some time now. Creaking away. She's back together. <laughs> I am so enjoying this build. Thank you for watching the build. I hope you're finding this elucidating and interesting. Why am I using the word elucidating so much at the moment? It's the word of the week. There we go. Uh, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Follow our Instagram, at Crimson Guitars and uh, all of these various other bits and pieces. We're on Facebook. Who's not on Facebook? If you hate Facebook, comment below. Um, I, I will be one of the first people to comment. The only reason I have it is because of the business. Anyway, um, please, if the next video is live, well, go and watch that. Binge your heart out. If not, if the next video is not live, then you run the chance to win this guitar. Uh, check the links below, go to crimsonguitars.com and uh, you can, you can well, enter into our competition. Thanks for watching. See you soon.